Are you a European investor that is wondering why you can't invest in the ARK Invest ETFs? In this video I'll explain why we are missing out in Europe and I'll also go through a solution to the problem that one very popular broker is offering. So make sure and stick around for that. ARK Invest are a US based asset management company that focus on disruptive technologies that have about 60 billion or so in assets under management so they're pretty huge. Their CEO and Chief Investment Officer Cathy Wood has become a bit of a household name in the last year just because I suppose of the performance of their funds. Whatever she says lately people tend to listen so she's become a bit of a cult hero in the investing world. This quote on their website I think really sums up what their strategy is in a nice precise way. Disruptive innovation is often not priced correctly by traditional investment strategies because people may not understand how big the ultimate opportunities are going to be. They aren't sizing the opportunity and they aren't analysing the disruption. So that's essentially what they're all about. That's their strategy. They're looking for companies that are going to completely disrupt. While other funds might shy away from these kind of investments, ARK Invest really specialise in them. And they're very open and very transparent about their research methods and what companies they have actually included in their funds. So you can easily see it on their website, what holdings that they have in each fund. So they have five actively managed ETFs that you can invest in. They have the Innovation Fund, the Autonomous Tech and Robotics Fund. They have the Next Generation Internet Fund. They have the Genomics Revolution Fund and they have the Fintech Innovation Fund also. So let's have a look at the Innovation Fund here, for example, in their top 10 holdings. Tesla is number one, they have about 10% in Tesla and they also have companies like Square and Roku in their top 10 at about 6%. Their website really is a great source of information if you want to do a bit of research on these funds. They have a lot of information there available to you if you want to look into it. So what's the deal? Why can't we invest in these ETFs from Europe? The simple answer to this question is the regulations in the EU. The PRIIP regulations were brought in towards the end of 2018, start of 2019 in the EU to help protect investors. These regulations basically required all fund providers to provide key information documents to any prospective investors. And these basically look like this. The purpose of this was so investors could compare and contrast different investment products with each other and compare all the different risks and rewards that you would have if you are investing in any of them. And any US domiciled ETFs such as the ARK Invest ETFs don't actually comply with these regulations. And for that reason, you won't see them on brokers like the Giro, which is very popular for ETFs and trading 2 and 2 another one. But one broker has come up with a solution to this problem. And the broker I'm talking about here is the eToro CFD broker. So the way eToro are getting around the regulations are they allow you to buy a non-leveraged CFD of the ARK Invest ETFs. So what is a non-leveraged CFD? So first off, when you see the word CFD, contract for difference, you often think of a really risky investment where you're buying on margin and you could lose a lot of money very easily. But a non-leveraged CFD really removes all the risk of that. You're essentially buying a derivative of an underlying asset that moves exactly like the underlying asset. So to explain that a bit more simply, if you buy a non-leveraged CFD of the ARK Invest ETF, if the price of the ARK Invest ETF increases by $10, so will the CFD. So essentially, you're not actually buying the ARK Invest ETF itself, but what you are doing is you're buying a CFD that actually tracks the movement of it. So this is the method that they use to actually get around these regulations. So if we now actually look at the eToro platform there now, they actually have those five ETFs that I was describing earlier on. So you can invest in any of those through a CFD. So just to be clear, this video is not made as financial advice to go and buy these. So make sure and do your own research before you actually do any sort of investment like this. So I hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video, sub to my channel so you'll see more content like this in the future.